Hey everybody, welcome back. We are after it's Sunday afternoon. We're just after the war ended and I've gotten some feedback, some comments about some statements that I've made in my videos about damage calculations and things like when a hero adds a damage increase or a percent of of attack increase to a hero, what that means. So I figured, you know what, let's, let's just go ahead and test this out. This kind of knowledge is really important. And while I don't know what the formulas are, those are closely guarded secrets. There are some really smart individuals who are working to try and figure out what that formula is, who post their work on EMP's website in a, in a thread there in the, in the forum. But all of that aside, all the math and the technical stuff aside, I want to see if we can figure out, um, you know, using some real life examples, some rules of thumb that you can go by for understanding what your heroes are going to do without having to do any math, just sort of having a general understanding here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into, I just picked a stage that has some heroes that are not going to die instantly from a tile because the heroes that I'm using are fairly strong. So here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show, I brought here Cupido, who has a 295% damage to the target and an attack stat of 982. And I have Panyolite with an attack stat of 982 as well. And 245% damage to the target. So exactly 50% less than Cupido and the same attack stat. Now we have Phenexa here who is going to, where is she at here? Phenexa is going to increase all allies, get plus 50% attack. So we're going to try and figure out what that means. Does that mean that Cupido here is going to go from about 300 up to about 450? And the answer is no, that is not what that means. <laughs> so um, the way that it's worded on the cards, it, it makes you think that it's a much more powerful skill than it is. What it does is it, it just increases their attack stat here. Yeah, so what it does, it increases the attack stat. And when it increases the attack stat, it it in reality works out to be much closer to increasing their attack by a percentage. Let me, that doesn't even make sense as I say it. I mean, it makes sense to me, but it's not clear. Let's use, um, oh my God, where'd these heroes go? Okay, Penulite. So if I increase Penulite's attack stat by 50%, this is going to push this up to somewhere around 1,400. Now, that increase of 50% does not equate to 250 going up to 375. It is closer to an increase of about 50% of the... Da of the damage dealt in this number here. So that 50% from Phenexa ends up being closer to an attack of about 295 damage to all enemies as opposed to um, 375, which would be a full 50% increase in damage. So it's an increase in attack. It's not an increase in damage. Attack is this right here. And what that equates to is each percentage of increase of attack is sort of equates to about a percentage of increase in damage. So let's, let's stop talking about it and let's go in and just fight. And this way I can just show you. It's much easier to do it this way. So this first round, I'm just going to charge some heroes here. Oh, let's see. We are got to get Penulite charged and we got to get Cupido and Anexa charged.
And we'll use the second round to All right, this will be good here. We're almost there. Like I said, we're going to use the second round because these heroes are all damaged right now. I don't mean emotionally. Okay. Almost. Okay, so what we want to see is we have Penulite here who has an attack stat of 1217 and deals 245. So 1217, let's look at the defense here. Oh, I have the same, um, the same troop on all of them, in case you're wondering. So we've got 756 defense. 747, 747. So this one in the middle has a little bit higher defense. We want to keep that in mind. So Penulite with no increase at 245% deals about 520. I'm around, there's a, there's an error, there, there's a variation in the damage. So the damage will never come out to be exactly the same twice. Okay, so Penulite did about 520. Now, Cupido has an attack that is 295 versus the 245. And we'll see what Cupido does here with no increase. That is about 650. So 295 did about 650. So that was an increase of about 130 points of damage for that increase in, by 50%. And we want to see also what does Zandrella do, who has an attack that is a little bit lower attack stat but 450 percent damage so at 450 percent damage we're looking at 986 986 at 450 percent okay now we're going to add some finexa to this and see what we come up with okay now I'll remember we have a defense stat here of 747 and 756 because <clears throat> these guys are going to die in a second here. So let's hit the next. Uh, now, see what we get here is an increase in the attack stat. Now that 1217 goes up to about 1820. What's that? Four? 25? And this goes up to about eight. Yeah, the same. So <clears throat> let's see what, if this was a full on 50% damage increase, then we would expect to see, um, we would expect to see Cupido do about nine, 980 points, which would be the equivalent of Zandrella. And so let's go ahead and hit with Cupido. And see what we're looking at here. So we had about 730 and about 800. So we'll say 750. Hi. 
So his attack went from 650 to 750. All right, so next we want to check what Panyolite's increase is going to look like. Try and use the same heroes here if we can do it without going to the next screen. You see they, they've got ailments, but none of them affect defense. So with the increased attack, that's at about 640. So 640, and when, when Cupido hit, without the modifier, Cupido hit at 650. So that plus 50% by Phenexa here brought, if you want to think of it simply, now technically what it did is it increased the attack stat, but functionally speaking, that increase increased the, basically the deals 245% damage to all enemies to about, deals about 295% damage to all enemies. It's just easier to think about it that way because that is about what the, the increase was. So now this, okay, these have the same amount of defense. So let's see if we can see what um, Zandrella is going to look like with that 50% increase. And she's still got it. This guy. Yeah, well, this guy. For some reason, these flanks have a little bit higher defense. They've got 20 points higher than the last round. So we'll just hit with Zandrella and see what Zandrella does. 1,041. So... Let's see here. All right, so let's recap real quick here. Panyolite did at 200, at 245% did 520, and that went up to 640 with a 50% increase. Then Cupido, who has a 295 attack, went from 650 to 750. And a Zandrella went from 986 to 1041. So there's two important things here. Number one is that it's a very stable increase of a... All right, I've got family where I'm at, so I have to keep pausing this video as kids are running around. <clears throat> so uh, we got Panulite at 245 and um, Cupido at 295. So Panulite went from 520 to, to 640, and Cupido went from 650 to 750. So that's a very stable increase in about each percentage of, of attack, plus 50% attack, which, it, which, is an, a cre which equals an increase in attack stat. Functionally speaking, it's like a increase in the percent of damage that the hero actually does. And then the other thing that um, the rumor that keeps getting perpetuated is that as the attack percentage, the, the damage percentage, so if, for Penny Light here, it's 245. As that increases, there's an exponential increase in damage, and that is 100% false. It is just, it just doesn't work like that. So, <clears throat> you know, Penulite hit for 245 at 520, and then Zandrella hit at 450, which is 200% higher, almost, almost 100, almost double, a little less than double the attack, went from 520 up to 986, which is proportionate. It's a linear increase there. It's almost double the damage for almost double the attack. There is no exponential climb there. If there were, that 450% would be somewhere around probably 1,500 damage. So that is 
my attempt to put some some real gameplay behind some of the mechanics and, and give you some real life examples of what the damage and the increases look like. And then I'm, I think I said, I may have said in the last video that critical chance can increase, can double the damage from a special, which it doesn't. Sometimes I say the wrong things. Like I say fiend when I mean minion. It's because I'm thinking ahead of what the words that are coming out of my mouth. And so sometimes I go back and watch the videos and the words um, don't match what I'm thinking. The, <clears throat> the critical chance increase increases the chance of tiles doing double damage. The percent attack increase is an increase to the attack stat that you see here. So as I, uh, yeah, I can't do both at the same time here, but you can see my attack started out at 1217 and went up to six, went uh, up by 608 because of that 50% increase. All right, so hopefully that sheds a little bit of light. And if you have any questions about this, um, let me know. The last thing to say is that the the curve so as long as your attack stat is lower than the defense of the hero then that percentage of damage it has a multiplier that's 1.0 which is actually no multiplier as soon as your attack stat goes above the defense of the defender then that increment that's above that defense has a damage multiplier of somewhere between 1.3, 1.35. This is the information that I got from the EMP website. Now, <clears throat> it's not exact. These are mathematicians that are trying to figure out what EMP is doing, but it, fun it works out to about 1.3 for however much your attack stat is higher than the defense, which should make sense. If your attack stat is higher than the defender's defense you should get a little bit of a bonus there so that's it and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if you find this kind of stuff interesting then like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video